Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We're jumping in for hopefully our ninth win. Let's pull up our randomizer real quick. I kind of forgot to do that before the video. Uh, Isaac randomizer. If anyone wondering which Isaac randomizer I'm using, just type in Isaac randomizer and there's one called Welcome to Isaac randomizer on GitHub pages. Um, and you can select which characters you want to randomize and stuff and then just get one. Uh, we got Lazarus. Okay. Lazarus, not a particularly difficult character for the most part. Um, he can be a little spicy in, um, wait, did, did we do Lazarus as the first character on the series? We, we might have done actually. Let, let me, let me roll that back because I'm pretty sure we did Lazarus as our first character. Okay. We got a Polyon instead. Let's try and at least keep characters a little different and don't do the same ones back to back. Um, where's a Polyon? Where you at, my buddy? There you go. Apollyon, kind of an iffy one. Um, there's a few mods that sort of kind of fix the way that he plays, but I'm okay with with sticking with regular version and just sucking up some stats here and there. In fact, I think I'd probably suck up um, the virus if you gave me it, so let's see if we end up getting it. I do not like the, uh, the pills that you've decided to use thus far, good friend. This is uh, a little bit tricky here. Okay, thank you for just killing your own flies for me. That's definitely... Uh, useful but this blocking fly there you go we get the uh we get the virus here um and i shall suck it up and we gained fire it and look fire it definitely i'm happy about over uh, a speed increase i think that's much much better for us so i'm pretty good to go with that and then here we've got blood explosion and we have a 50 percent chance to explode and create a pool of red creep on the ground the explosion deals your current damage and can spread status effects if the enemy dies within the explosion with any okay Explosion with any explosions caused by this item. You okay, okay, I see. It's just worded weirdly, but good item. We've also got a super tinted rock right here. So we'll see if we can uh, make that work. If we get an extra. Oh, that was kind of close. If we get ourselves an extra um, thingy bomb. I wonder if them explosions can uh, blow up rocks and such. Probably not, considering they can't deal damage to us. I can't remember how these guys actually fire when I kill them. Okay, it's cross patterned. Good, good. I was just trying to remember and figure out where the tears were about to go there so that I could stand in the right place. But this is going to be pretty good. We're going to have enemies exploding into creep and stuff. And there's our second bomb. So we'll go and get what likely will be small rock. Normally the double tinted rocks give you small rock. Not every time, but it's likely. Um, ooh, okay. Double soul heart is pretty good with me as well. Probably should have gone to my uh, cash room prior. But I'll tell you what. On our streak, our first floors have been pretty goddamn good. Our first floors have been have been pretty successful. Oh, that was really stupid. Um, they've been pretty successful. We've been, we've been doing good with the first floors, and we get ourselves rerolls all pedestals into devil deals. Absolutely insane first floors. That's also just an absolutely insane card, in my opinion. <laughs> that card goes hard. The hard card. I mean, I like it. Not complaining about it. Definitely. We petrified poop. I'll take that. Might be able to get a little bit out of that this floor on the next. We'll see. We'll see. Lovely. The explosion's there. Very, very nice. We did get Buck, which is a boss that I'm not particularly fond of. Um, but we'll see what we can do with him. Oh, he didn't swipe at me. You can try and bait him into a swipe to stop him from doing that attack, but it doesn't always work. At this distance, it's not really worth it. He's going to spew out his little babies now, yeah. Now, I really do not like these guys. And the thing is as well, he can just like spawn more as soon as they're dead. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't this time, but he can. I've not quite got the range to hit him while he's doing that attack efficiently. There you go, they're back. That didn't hurt you at all. I mean, I know you've got a bomb in your mouth, but be reasonable, sir. Be reasonable. Okay, and this will reroll into a devil deal. Um, and we get Solomon. Uh, that's, that's pretty interesting. I think I'll take Solomon. Um, it's quality four as well, so that's pretty good. Um, it's probably locked us into devil deals now, knowing the game. Uh, but anyways, that's cool. Solomon's kind of an interesting one. Once every eight rooms, we get a Lemmageton Wisp. That's actually a pretty good law of averages for uh, for that. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, um, what's a design choice in gaming that's that's been becoming more and more of a trend recently? That uh, that, that's there's uh, the other. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it both ways. The other you really like or really hate, and I'm not talking about loot boxes. Everyone fucking hates those. That's the obvious answer. But um, like. What what's some like game mechanics or game trends that you're seeing that are becoming more popular that um that you either really like or really dislike? There's quite a few different game mechanics out there and stuff that have been sort of copied across the board that can some of them can be just amazing and revolutionize gaming. Um but others are just like, yeah, the worst. <laughs> 
Oh my god, the explosions, baby, the explosions. Get ourselves our Yu-Gi-Oh card here. And we get ourselves some mini Isaacs, and we get ourselves death. Quickly check in here. But yeah, of course, as always, when we're playing the streak, we're going to be min-maxing to the min-max. Oh, boy, we need a bomb real bad. That would be a petrified poop bonanza. That would be awesome. <laughs> we will try to get ourselves a, a bomb by the end of this floor, but obviously there's no guarantee of that. I wonder if we get the cork, it'll increase the size of those creep pools. That'd be really, really nice, actually. Because the creep seems to last a pretty long time. Like, it's not... it's not... Not a short amount of time at all. There's a key, at least. But we are looking for a bomb, of course. I'm saving my death card for a potential large room. I think it's better spent there. Mini Isaacs, with this many of them, is actually pretty useful. They're doing a, a reasonably good job of uh, taking things out. 50% chance for the explosion as well is relatively high. There's the bomb we're looking for. Right. E bird's eye, I'll certainly take that. Bird's eye is very good, especially considering we've got a bit of luck going on. And death card, there you go. Perfect here. Oh, with the explosions, death card plus explosions, that's a that's a pretty sweet combo that I didn't even think think about. The chain reaction of that just kills everything in the room pretty quickly. Oh, we we have a money run here. Okay, so we do have two bombs, so we can try and find secret room if we know where it is, which at the minute I don't, I don't think. It probably is here, but I'm not entirely certain on that. Let's just take a peep here. Yeah, it's, it's almost certainly here. There you go. And this is one that gives us a soul heart when we kill this guy, right? Okay, no, it's not a soul heart. It's a chest, but there's two of them. Oh, what? Oh, I was like, why do we get Max's head? It's from the goddamn Lamageton Wisp, you fool. Right, and then this should hopefully pay us back a good amount. We'll see. I'm hoping to at least get enough to make the shop worthwhile visiting. And maybe a luck penny if we're lucky, but that's that's reaching a little bit, I'd say. Okay, um, let's go back and check out the shop now that we've got enough money to make it work. And we've got the keys available too. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to end up using Void as this guy. I mean, sometimes it's it's great. Sometimes it can be like the best tool possible. In other runs, it's just not super useful. There's no items in here, which is surprising. But I will buy a Soul Heart because that makes me slightly more likely to take a Devil Deal. Um, if there's a one heart deal that sort of reaches to me. Because now that we're locked into devil deals with that card, I think I am going to, um, I am going to go to the devil deal and check it out, because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm locked in. Okay, don't destroy Max's head, please. That would be annoying, because we get a pretty beefy damage up from Max's head here. Now, the good thing is we have these fires launching out. We can get a few of those lined up here. I was just about to say, I can't really remember what this guy's attacks are, apart from throwing spiders, so I think we're okay, though. We did get a HP up as well, which makes things a little easier. There's a black heart thing there as well. Um, and I think we'll just take Hellfire, which is going to be a kind of an interesting combination with um, Hellfire plus the Blood Explosion. It's kind of an interesting concept of two items because it's both enemies exploding into various different things, one into Blood and one into Hellfire. I think that could be a rather interesting, um, interesting setup, especially with the actual fire. Of bird's eye contributing to it as well. I think this is a pretty a pretty decent set of items that go kind of interestingly together. I mean, there you go, look. Oh, so the interestingly enough, when they get hell fired, they can then also explode. Okay. This is nice. So like a delayed explosion from Hellfire. That is the one downside of Hellfire. When you kill an enemy, they do stay alive for a little bit of time before they then explode. Still don't really understand what's going on with those water bottles. Sometimes you'll leave a room with a consumable, you'll come back and it's just changed into a water bottle. It's like, mm, not going to complain. So sometimes we'll get just Hellfire. Sometimes we'll get just an explosion. Sometimes we'll get both. Sometimes we'll get nothing. We've got a little bit of all over the place here. Unfortunately, Mr. Zumi over here didn't get the memo. Wait, was there two? Was there... Was that two? There was two rainbow poops in this room. What the heck? And in here we get Book of Lucifer is genuinely very good. B skins also pretty good. Um, B skins pretty good. I kind of want to take this over Void. Like Void is good, but it's not all that interesting. And this is—I I think I'm going to do that. I know that sounds like heresy as this character. But being able to gain uh, damage that stacks over the course of a floor 
it's really good. And, and as we've proven, in like the later into the game you get, the better it gets because there's more rooms and there's more floors. And then especially if you can get something that increases our charges, it's going to be real good. How are you not in that fire, my guy? Yeah, okay, so Blood Explosion can destroy rocks. We just saw it happen there. This is fun. I'm liking this. And we've got Nugget Bombs in there as well. We've also got enough for our shop once again. Good thing is, as well, about the Lemmageton Wisps, they do provide us with some projectile uh, protection as well, which is, of course, quite nice. Uh, we should probably uh, take a look back at our shop over here. See Wagwan with it, because, like I said, when I'm, when I'm doing these streaks, I'm really enjoying them, doing the min-maxing and trying to actually play the floors to their fullest uh, potential. And making sure we go to the shop and secret room if we have the opportunity is always part of that. I mean, if we get a bomb here, we can go for that tinted rock as well. well you two got a little bit of the sting there, but not fully. <laughs> that was beautiful. Um, receive for the room, speed, damage multiplier, triple shot. Okay, we'll take that for the boss, I guess. Seems useful. One of these guys. No, thank you. Pills, I'm not interested in this run at the moment, just because my stats are perfectly fine right now. Pretty, pretty bad hit there, but we'll recover. And in here, we've unfortunately not got a whole lot of good, but a soul heart in itself is, is nice. And honestly, let's take the bomb as well. This is a bit of a gamble here. Um, I think buying a bomb for the Tinted Rock is most of the time going to be worthwhile. Let's see if that ends up being the case. Indeed it was. Five cent small rock. Obviously our speed now, not feeling so hot, but otherwise things are looking pretty good for us. Of course, like I said, we're going to pop our uh, card here in the boss to hopefully speed that up a little bit. But yeah, i got to say, I'm liking this run as it stands right now. This is very, very nice. Dissonance. Let's go. Ooh, bit of money from this as well. That's nice. Turns into a little devil looking boy. Little bit of pennies we can get from this, and synth oil as well, lovely. Great stuff, and we've got a book charge straight away for the next floor. Obviously, you do get diminishing returns with this book. It's not all, uh, it's not all power, but um, it's still useful. I mean, we're up to 7.1 damage already, which is real good. I mean, the first use of the book is always going to be the strongest, so even if we get not, like, many uses, the first use is always still good. Beautiful stuff. Got some of our keys back there as well. Health is looking pretty fine at the moment. I'd like a little bit more red hearts just for the devil deal potential, but it's not survivability-wise, we're not struggling. I think the fire saved me then by destroying that shot. Ooh, the wafer for a little bit here. That's uh that's not bad. In fact, we do have a sack room, so if we manage to find a lot more HP this floor in terms of soul hearts, we could potentially play out the sack room a little bit. That would be uh a pretty saucy idea, I think. Can get these bubbles out of my goddamn way, please. They're destroying my Lemmageddon Wisps. Hell. There you go. 0 0.6 for the for the second usage look. Like, I think the first usage was like 1.2 or something. Don't know if it halves every time, but... Uh, secret Room does look to be here. I will take one of these for a Broken Heart reroll as well. Not that we'll need it, but the potential for it is nice. Oh my god, that was a good dodge though from the uh, the Lemmageddon Wisp, but I think that is the Wafer. Already perished. Half a soul, half from those guys, it's nice. And 0.55, okay, so it doesn't diminish quite as much as I thought it would, but still. This is actually preferable here because we didn't have the money to get anything anyways, so... Whoa! <laughs> Hellfire does something strange with him. Uh, spawn wants two golden pennies. That's a really interesting, um, a really interesting consumable, I think. Like, there's so many reasons why you would and wouldn't want to use that. Getting that much money could be great, but then again, it's a golden penny, so it might not be that much money, and it's between one and two golden pennies. So, if you get two golden pennies, and they're both kind of shit, you still get a good amount of money, but if you get one and it's shit, you're, you're basically shit out of luck. Right, we'll go for this. Yeah, I guess I was pretty sure that was secret room there. Uh, unfortunately, not a great secret room, it's two pills. Uh, in this case, when it's pills like this, I'll go for it. I can see forever's nice. And that's good too. Okay. That's not too bad of a pull. Um, ooh. We've got so many of these types of effects right now. Um, we get ourselves this. Trends for tears to inflict long-lasting poison. Yep. We've got a lot of uh, tear effects going on here. I will grab this as well. Ooh. 
This is really nice. This is a, a really nice pairing of uh, of items here. We've got a lot of different sort of status effect style things going on. I love that. It's just more fun. That's a lot of extra money there as well. Lovely. I just get a key from that from that poop. Is that a thing? Apparently, sir. Black Herma for blinding tears. We'll just hold off a sec here. I'll take this pill. I say now that I'm basically for me, it's always like. I, sometimes I'm sort of standoffish with the pills, but the moment I start taking them, I'm like, well, I'm all in now. The only time that I don't do that is if I find the pills I want, like, really early. If I find, like, a tears up really early, there's basically no point in using any other pill. Obviously, there is other good pills, but those are the ones that you want. Yeah, we've got I Can See Forever, so we don't need to worry about secret rooms. We found them both anyways. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we've got some rooms over there, but we've seen the shop and item room, so I'm not particularly interested in going all the way back over there, even though I should be min-maxing, I realise. The fire's here, hopefully we can spread around the room and sort of get prepped for, uh... Oh shit, my god. Get prepped for the incoming boss just driving over the lot of them. Good aid. PJs is good too. A lot of HP there. Our book's ready for the next floor. Okay. Things are looking very, very tasty for us right now. Very, very tasty. A minute I have a Discord message. I have to check if it's important. Let's find out. Oh my god, Discord, what are you doing? Okay, one second. I'm going to have to sort that out in a sec. Anyways, right, let's keep going. 0.65 for the first usage. Okay. It's not as much as I thought, but still it's good. Right. Bomb both of these while we've got the bombs available. Hey, we got kidney stone. That's another great thing here. Fiend folio causing errors. Oops. I'm guessing hitting one of these guys with a fire. I have to actually go and click this, don't I? There you go. Make it stop. I will certainly take kidney stone. That's another sort of great addition onto this run. Taking a lot of bad damage here. But just kind of ignore it. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Also, by the way, I managed to actually turn the, the cursor off of my recordings, so... You won't see my cursor now when, um... The game decides to screw me with Fiend Folio. Uh, Re Repentagon, sorry. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that guy, like, is dying over and over again. Aquarius? Yes, please. There's a soul heart back there I should probably buy as well, considering I just lost one. For no reason, Monstro's lung, hello. Monstro's lung, not particularly the item I've been wanting, but not terrible. How are you not dead? You've managed to dodge all of that. Okay, keep going. There's a trash bag in here I should pick up. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, these do sit at the end of your health bar, so they're easy enough to lose. Still. Been able to get one of those flies every time we, uh... Every time we go to the next floor, pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty nice, my guy. Laser beaming everyone. Lovely. I wonder why it is that laser beams from, from enemies are like one of the only things that can hurt other enemies unless you've got betrayal. Oh, I always forget that's creep. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I must have like a mod on or something that for some reason turning a lot of the creep grey. I don't know when I like when I got this. But I'll be honest, I'm not particularly happy with it. Like I do not want grey or like browny grey creep. I'd rather have it red or something a little easier to discern because I keep walking into it thinking it's like I, I know it's creep but I keep walking into it thinking it's like not dangerous to me nice justice, justice. Ooh, an eternal heart from justice taking a pill spawns um, taking a bad pill spawns another random pill okay that's actually pretty useful we could get something out of that we also got a luck increase there as well which is real good too because that just makes our look based effects even more likely to happen, which we always love. Okay, careful of these faces. We've got low speed here, so I'm not particularly a big fan of these bad boys. Luckily, though, we can kill them pretty easy. We've not seen anything we need to see on this floor so far, though. 
need to head on back. By the way, people have asked me about Good Trip before and said, why don't I use Good Trip, which is the mod that lets you teleport. I have considered it. It's an interesting, um, interesting idea, but I actually do think that, like, part of the charm of Isaac and the struggle of Isaac can be the, the backtracking. I'm going to reroll this. Hey, Coot is pretty good. Basically, one uh, permanently charmed enemy in every room is pretty good. Uh, we're still looking for the shop here. We've got plenty of money. There you go. I'm say, yeah, this guy's cooted, look. Makes our life a bit easier. And I'll just hop between. Um, ooh. We've had problems with Tithe in the past. I'm going to take it, though. I'm going to take it. It's, it, I think it's one of those, um, one of those items that, like, it has the potential to kind of screw you over quite a bit, but it also has the potential to, to give you some, some pretty good rewards, so... Especially with it being a shop item, which I, I don't know how I feel. I feel like it's kind of, it does fit in the shop because it's like to do with consumables, like keys and pennies and stuff. But at the same time, it doesn't really fit in the shop because it's clearly a wholly related item. And the fact it gives you an eternal heart makes it a pretty strong shop item. Did get a devil deal here. Oh, what the fuck? If I, did I actually lose my devil deal to a goddamn golden cursed penny? Yes, I did. Wow, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. Um, okay, devil deal gone, unfortunately. That's a, that's a right shame. That is basically what happened there, is the um, the milkshake mod adds in all those different types of coins. But for some reason, I do think this is something they should probably fix or at least look at. Um, you can you can get a um, disguised version of the pennies by getting a golden penny. Any one of the golden pennies spawned from the original golden penny can be any one of the types of pennies from Milkshake, which in my opinion doesn't make sense because it's a golden penny, it shouldn't, they shouldn't be able to mimic other pennies. And it can cause situ situations like that where you can get extra keys, extra bombs, or even get a cursed little teleport there. Ooh, Yera. I mean, I I could Yera all of this, but I actually think the Yera's better, better held onto and saved for a, a better moment. I'm not quite sure what that moment will be as of yet, um, because I'm just not sure. There's quite a few different places. Okay, you've just revealed him to me. Luckily, he's dead now, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that room kind of took care of itself. Um, a lot of bosses in the rooms here. A lot of bosses. We also got Daddy Longlegs at some point from um, from Solomon, I think. Thank you, Solomon. Yeah, basically, I think we were better off using Yera on the chests at the end of the game if we hold it that long. Or um, just, like, a lot of HP or something. Oh, hello. I'm not, not liking having a monstrous lung for now, to be honest. I think it's causing issues, and I also think it's blocking kidney stone. I haven't seen kidney stone prof one since we got it. So, which I didn't know was actually a thing. Oh, we got poly as well. Okay, we definitely need to get rid of um, monstrous lung at this point. It's going to be a little hard to purposely do. I have, I have done it before, but... Okay, I'm actually at one hit there. Kill you first. I'll... God damn it. Everything keeps killing stuff for me. I don't... There you go. It's gone. It's gone. There you go. We've now got proper poly as well as... um. Oh god, these these things can explode. That's hilarious. <laughs> I did not expect that. That's funny. Um, but yeah, we've now got poly plus uh, kidney stone on occasion as well. Good stuff. That guy jumped but died once he got into the air. So I was like, where the hell did he go? He, he, he want, was obviously going to jump back down on me. And he just didn't. I was pretty confused. Yeah, if we can keep our um, wisps alive now, that'd be great. Oh, I was like, what the hell's going on in this room? But there you go. We found out pretty quick. Well, we've got kidney stone activity to make sure to pop through to r other rooms. We've not seen our item room yet, so let's step, step, step it back. I'm thinking this is secret room here. It's not okay. Could be to the left of here as well. Or not. A little bit of a tough one with secret room here, I think, maybe. Oh, I got one of these rooms. God damn it. This is basically this this room is just let's kill all your wisps sort of room. This guy's just gonna keep firing at me and killing my goddamn wisps. Get out of here. Yep, there you go. You're a sack of shit, you know that. Get out of here. Nope, all my wisps are gone. Waste of goddamn time, room. How dare you? Oh, I took that by accident. Oh, I got a fucking 
extra blue key. Are you kidding me? Okay, we do need a key for this. Uh, so we, we might actually have to... Um, we might actually have to go and use our Yera in there if we want our item room. Which is a bit of a shame, because I'd rather keep my Yera for later. But I do think getting the key on this floor for the item room is valuable. And also as well, what's the chance of me holding this Yera all the way and not accidentally using it? Kind of low. Let's go for it. We could gamble and go to our shop first and see if we get a key from our shop. But it could be a, a fight and then, yeah, it's just not, it's not likely to be honest. It's not super likely. Right. Item room, what do you have for me? Really? That effort for Grabber? Grabber's fine, but he's not great. <laughs> he's a little, he's a little chill fellow. We'll, we'll keep him around, but. I'm not going to say that I'm uh, the most pleased with Grabber out of everything. Alright, Mum, it's time. I'm going to try and make you bleed if I can. What if I did? Kidney stone. Sadly, everything missed that brimstone, which is annoying. There you go, we got it. Grab that. Ah, oh, I just used my book on the wrong goddamn floor. I just I was like, yeah, we picked up the item. We're down now. No, 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 that's not how that works, you fool. Hey, we got a teleport, and hey, we got Breath of Life. <laughs> of course, of course. I don't care how much they buffed it. That item will always be trash in my eyes. That item will never not be the worst of the worst. I can't, fa I just can't, like, see myself ever using it properly. Y'all right over there? Yep. Okay, there's some shenanigans going down. Let me through, let me through. Some of these rooms I am not interested in partaking in at all. Technically, I could take that and if it's a bad pill, it'll spawn another pill. What if it just spawns another bad pill? Ooh, this guy being charmed is pretty useful. Thank you. No herming shots for me, thanks. Oh, hello. What, what are you guys doing down here? This isn't your normal habitat. I think we've we've gone the right way here. I think. We do need four keys for um, our last floor, of course. By the way, I've realized I have been going uh, light path every single time. I know that I can, like, mix it up and go to other floors. And basically, it's going to depend on the strength of the run, like, where we are in the game. Like, if we get a really, really strong first floor, then and I'm, and I'm like fairly confident on a mother run. I will go for a mother run on occasion. I'm not opposed to it. My god. My god. It was all happening then. Hey, our devil deal has returned to us, thank you. Damocles is a, is a, a really, really spicy one. Now, I'm actually not going to take Damocles, but the only reason for that is because we just do not have enough items left to make it worth the two hearts I'd be paying for it. Like, I'm actually fairly confident it wouldn't kill me. I don't, I think we've got, we're far enough into the run where it's not, not impossible, but it's unlikely that it would fall. The problem is that, um, oh dude, we're never going to have four keys because I see, damn it. Um, once we get a really in, early angel teleport, which I doubt we'll get. Um, the, the problem is that there's not enough items left. Like, this floor, we don't have a boss item. Um, next floor, we don't have a boss item. So, literally, the only items we'd be duplicating is items we got on the last floor. And, realistically, at that point, is that even remotely worth that level of risk? And also, that level of health to pay for? Like, probably not at this stage. And, like I said, I do, I do want to, I don't want to be completely adverse to risks on a streak. I will, on occasion, take... A good old Damocles, if I'm confident. But this is—it's just too late in the game for Damocles to actually be worth taking. It's too late in the game, baby. Oh yes, baby. <laughs> Hellfire with uh, with extra luck is quite a fun one. Ooh, a cracked infamy is actually okay. Basically, um, in boss fights, there's a small chance that we get. Um, rewind it out of the boss fight when we take damage and the chance increases with every hit that we take. So basically it just it just makes boss fights a lot easier. 
but a little bit more annoying because you could be really close to killing them and then get hit and it could uh, rewind you. So it's it's kind of an upside, uh, uh, upsides with downsides. It's not always going to be an upside. I'll tell you what isn't an upside. Not being able to kill these guys super easily. I mean, I'm taking a lot of damage already here, so... I mean, why why, why just spawn a monster? <laughs> Did you have to? What's going on? Why aren't you taking damage? Are you just taking extremely low damage? Is there a, something going on here? There you go, finally. Ah, we got it right before the end. There you go. First on Turst, not bad. We'll check our Devil Deal again here. That's kind of what I was hoping for, to be honest. I did not want to buy anything with my HP. And no lump of coal, god damn it. Okay, up we go. Okay, we got through those floors pretty easily. Next floors, I think, is going to be the hardest one for us. Um, I am a little miffed that we're always going to lose all of our keys and stuff, though. <laughs> That's going to make... Uh, I, I maybe should have thought about how, how useless type would be with the amount of consumables we had, especially this late into the game. You didn't die? Wowee. Oh, wowee, papi. Oh, wowee. Yeah, luckily those rooms are pretty easy, even though they were the wrong way. Oh god, look how slow I'm firing. Oh, I've been wondering, like, why rooms haven't been clearing as quickly, but Daddy Longlegs is gone. That's one of the reasons. He was he was a real, a real good guy that was helping us out quite a lot. I see you there. We gotcha, we gotcha. I do wish effects like this, like the bubble, would just end if the enemy dies. That'd be a nice change of pace for that enemy. I lost another wisp there, but it saved me from damage, so I think it's worth it. Seems like we're going the right way here. Ooh, that was actually quite a nice kill on that guy there. Nice and easy. This guy's a bit of a pain as well. Yeah, damage without, like, Hellfire and stuff is actually not all that good. Did you see that dodge there? Oh my god. Fire mind. Okay, that could be, uh, that could be chaotic. Okay, this is a, a good thing to fight here, I think. If I don't get hit, which I will, yeah. Very bad at dodging the fires for some reason, I don't know why. Grabber's doing a real good job of, like, pissing him off. <laughs> he, he can be really annoying for us, but it is also funny to watch, um, watch him kind of just annoy the hell out of the enemy, too. Keeps trying to do stuff, and Grabber's like, no, no, no. I know what's best. I can see the, without Hellfire, it's taken a while to kill this guy. Grab it, that was, that was egregious. We do get a soul heart out of this guy though, so we do get that heart back that we lost. Not exactly the, um, the payout we were hoping for, but it's better than nothing, right? More pennies is better, more chance for Tithe to not steal keys from us. I keep seeing Grabber and because he's like a little white enemy on this floor, I'm like, oh, he's there. <laughs> it's, it's not an enemy, my guy. Lovely. No more pennies. I'll take a pill. Something's wrong. I'd say something wrong is not a negative pill, but it is a bad pill. I did have a modern at one point that let uh, enemies run into blood donation machines and take damage. You're pretty good in this room. I think I just disabled it because it was a bit laggy. We're at four keys now. I'm not going to keep them. Kidney stone proc is uh, is pretty tasty as well, I've got to say. That is helping a nice amount. Ooh, okay, what's uh, what's the what's the deal with this room? Okay, that's actually, it's actually not too bad at all. Okay, thought I was gonna have to dodge again there, and I was a little bit scared. Oh, the, the explosions, baby! Fire might actually pairs really well with the blood explosions, just for explosions plus. Careful of the spike rocks. I am quite partial to walking into those. Ooh, I do see, I do see, I do see a little tinted rock right here. Lovely stuff. I'll save my charge of my active now for the next floor. I don't think there's going to be four rooms left. Extra bomb, that could be a secret room. We'll try that out. Yeah, the wall just looked sus. Ooh, 
<laughs> Soul of Lilith. Oh, really? Okay. Even when you get something bad, Soul of Lilith still feels amazing to get and use. Just like, oh my god, a free item of indeterminate quality. Hell yes. Oh, I just said I wasn't going to use my book. I just saw the boss and sometimes you just activate your active item straight away. I was thinking it was Book of Belial, I think. It does kind of remind me of Book of Belial. No kidney stone proc on the first phase, unfortunately, but that could just mean we've got one coming up for the actual uh, main event here. Save from, from uh, damage by my lemma. Getting wisps there, lovely. Okay, kidney stone is a rare integer. It should be the kill, hopefully. Not quite, not quite. Oh, there you go, we got it, we got it. We did take damage, unfortunately, though. And we'll see how many keys we lose. Please don't be all of them, but it'll definitely be all of them. <laughs> mean. Oh, we got spun. A nice bit of a damage upgrade. Good bit of spun. Yeah, without a buff proc, our damage isn't really that great. Towards the boss, it becomes fine. But in the early rooms, it's really not that good for us. There's another key and battery charge. Lovely. Oh! <laughs> Firemind for real! I'm actually kind of happy about that. Firemind was doing a pretty good job. More status effects is nice, and then explosions on top of our explosions. Who would, who would not take that? Who would not want that? Although these explosions, unfortunately, can hurt us. Unlike the others. Which is a little bit more of a shame, as you just saw with my HP. Okay, let's be cautious here, because we are, uh, oh my god, we are taking some bad damage. Firemind is already screwing us, unfortunately. But you will drop a soul heart for us, though, which is rather nice. It makes up for that stupid hit. I just need to not fire when I enter a room. It's a, it's a really bad idea. Sulfuric Acid. Nice. Randy the Snail on board. Ready to, uh, ready to go. It's because I want to try and charge up a uh, kidney stone as much as possible, which is why I'm firing as I enter the rooms, but it's actually not a really good idea, I don't think. Oh, this room wasn't actually a room we need to go to. We got another key, though. It's our third chest of the uh, items to begin with. Not bad, not bad. I don't know what's going on with that guy. He's just lit. I, I don't think he's killable via Hellfire. He glitches out if I try and Hellfire kill him. D2, unfortunately, while interesting, is not super useful for us here. Lovely. Take this guy out. Oh, God. Extra key and the soul heart to really, really allow us to succeed. Right, last chest. What do you hold for us? Hey, honestly, not a bad grouping of chests, to be honest. Not a bad grouping of chests at all. These enemies hit me all the time, so... Keep my distance and try and kill him. Ooh, and we also found the secret room as well. Again, this is another enemy. Oh, as if that killed me there. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay, I said killed. I meant hit. Um, There's some obviously weird thing going on with Hellfire plus another... Uh, Another interaction that's causing some enemies to not die when they should. They're like, kind of hellfire, but then don't. And kind of linger. I think it's probably to do with the faster death animations, right? Be like a, a holdover of that that's causing some issues. Cane's other eye, not bad, not bad. Although it could be dangerous with hellfire. Uh, not hellfire, uh, fire mind. Oh, God's sake. Jacob's Ladder. Okay, we got some good items ready for this here. That was good. Unfortunately, the damage output, as you can see, not great. But with our current luck, we're firing a good amount of fires, which should lead to a good amount of bullets being destroyed. Really, honestly, Fire Mind is our biggest issue right now. I'm being hit by it, like, almost constantly. <laughs> it just, the explosions have a way larger range, like, in actual fact than they do visually, which is obviously really annoying. Creating as many fires as possible like this is really good too. Lots of damage, but lots of protection too.
I'll really push my bomb back away, god damn it. Oh, this is obviously the really hard phase, because there's lots of various attacks that he can do that can be pretty gnarly here. Mom's contact there, pretty nice. Ah, that one shouldn't have hit me. Kidney Stone doing its job there. Gonna get the kill before all this returns to him. Oh, I think I've glitched him as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to um, debug 10 this guy, but he is dead, so... There you go. Dude, why doesn't it auto-click into the goddamn console? It's so annoying. <laughs> right, anyhow. Wait, does the console not show up? Oh, the console doesn't show up. When I'm... Um, when I'm... Dude, I don't know why that is. That, that's strange. It doesn't show up. Anyways, we've uh, won the run. Hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.